Power wishbone set. They hand the ball. Oh, no, Saber and Fink. It keeps it himself to the left sideline and into the end zone for the touchdown. it up. Yankee's got it. On the forehead, under 10 seconds. Yankee across it. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Cadets Coaches Corner. This week, I had the opportunity to sit down with head men's ice hockey coach Mike McShane, whose team earlier in the season captured their record eighth prime league tournament championship. Is coming off a 2-1 to one win over in-state conference rival Castleton, and now goes into the weekend against Plattsburgh State as the new number one team in the country. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. Uh, you guys propelled up to, to number one in the country uh, earlier this week. How do you feel about that? Do you not really pay much attention to it until March? <laughs> well, I look at it once in a while, primarily to see what the other teams are doing in their records. And, uh, you know, it's very important at the end of the year to be number one because it certainly helps in your NCAA rankings and where you might, you know, be sitting there. But this time of year, you know, it's great for the fans, and I think it gives them interest and in, uh, certainly the players too a little bit and pro like this week you know being one and then going over to play Plattsburgh uh, that should be exciting and a lot of fun. Speaking of that Plattsburgh just knock, knocked off the previous number one in Oswego what do you see from the Cardinals you saw them twice at the prime link what do you uh, anticipate going into this weekend? Well, I think they're a very good team I think they're one of the most talented teams I've seen uh, Plattsburgh have uh, on paper they are really a good team and they're very deep they've got five or six kids that aren't dressed that are really good players so they're as deep as any team in Division 3 and we know that they're very strong they've got some big kids and they skate well and uh, they really don't have any weaknesses and we're just going to have a play our best game you know over there uh, in the smaller rink and check well and win the close battles and get some good opportunities scoring wise because uh, they'll be a tough team to beat. We talked about the prime link. You guys won that uh, emotional come from behind victory against Middlebury. Three goals in the third period. A goal inside 10 seconds to win it. What, uh, what did that do for your confidence? And speak about that weekend. It certainly helps your character and so forth and it shows that you can win those close games and if it is close at the end of a, a game you feel good about it because you've, you know, you've had the experience of winning a couple of those close games and I think that's very important especially at the beginning of the year you know to, to pull off those games and it builds a good foundation for the strength of your program but you got to keep on going out every week and proving it it just you can't rely on what happened the week before to carry you through the next week so the prime link tournament now on the road at Plattsburgh how do games like this help prepare your team uh, for conference play down the road and then uh, looking even forward towards March we've had a, a good run you know as far as tough schedule goes we you know we've had four away games already this year uh, you know we have the prime link and now going up to uh, Plattsburgh to finish off before the, uh, the exam break goes on uh, I think it really helps especially you know early on the season to play a tough schedule because you really have a better understanding of your team after you play a lot of good good clubs because you've been challenged and the more you're challenged the better off you you know, you can see how you guys handle that challenge. Last weekend in the conference, played a tough match at Castleton, uh, won that game 2-1, to one, another late goal, gave you the victory. That's uh, really a rivalry that's really starting to emerge. How do you feel about that? Oh, we've had some tight games down there, and they're a good club. They, you know, they're, they're playing much better now. The last three or four games, they're playing up to their ability, and that game could have gone either way. We were just fortunate to get the bounce at the end, and, uh, you know, Mulvey being Johnny on the spot as he's been, did it again. Speaking of Colin Mulvey, he had both game winners against Middlebury and against Castleton. Uh, speak to his play so far this season. Well, he's been, uh, you know, like the Energizer Bunny. You know, he just goes and goes and goes. He, he works so hard off the ice, and uh, he pr he's a great practice player. Uh, and I think a lot of times practice, the way you practice, you end up performing, um, the way, you know, with the, the good work ethic that he has. He's got a tremendous work ethic, and that spreads throughout the team, too. I think Mulvey's leadership in that area has really helped a lot of the other guys. In addition to Mulvey, you guys have a veteran group with Kyle Thomas and Pierre Olivier Cotnoir. What, what are they doing for you on the ice? Well, he has been there. You know, this is his fourth year, and you got Allen uh, and, and Thomas and so forth. They've seen a lot of big games. They've you know, been to the final four three years in a row, and we won the championship their freshman years. So you, you take all that experience and you hope you know that it, it comes through again for you, 
because they know it's a lot of hard work to get there. You just can't say, assume because, oh, we've had the experience, it's going to happen. You have to prove it every day, and you have to prove it every day in practice. And uh, as a result, if you, you, you work hard and you get some continuity in your program, then you get a better chance of success. All right, we got two more questions for you. At the back end of the defense and that, you've used a couple of different goaltenders, but you've had success from all of them. How'd you, how have you uh, felt about the goaltending situation early on? Well, our goalies have done a nice job. You know, We've used all three of them. They all have experience now, and they've got their feet wet. And I think it's, that's important. Uh, our defense has played well in front of them also. I think our defense has moved the puck out well. We've killed penalties well. We've, uh, you know, cleared in front of the net rebounds pretty well so far this year. So, you know, the goalies are working well with the defense, and I think that's key to any success to build that foundation right from the goal out is, is, is uh, so important in hockey. It's like pitching in baseball and a quarterback and, and football. You've got to have that key guy behind you because you know they're going to get some chances in a game the way hockey is, and if he can make the big save or get a good block from the defense, that can only um, help the offense. All right, Coach, last question. As we kind of talked about before, three straight trips to the Final Four, or Frozen Four, rather, a championship for these seniors when they were freshmen. How do you kind of keep everyone motivated uh, for the regular season, not just you know looking ahead? Well, you just take, you keep it in perspective. You keep it one game at a time. I mean, that's an old cliche, cliche that a lot of coaches use, but it's it's one that, you know, proves to be successful. If you get too far ahead of yourself, you're never going to win championships if you're thinking about winning all the time and, and not the journey and the challenge that you have to do to get better, uh, then you're making a big mistake. And so we try to keep things, you know, right in practice. You know, like Monday, we had a big week, win uh, last weekend, a couple of wins, but Monday's practice was intense and we focused on what we wanted to do and that brings the guys right back down to earth a little bit and gets them ready for the next weekend. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us here, and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you, man.